Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. If you have seen some of my other videos before, this video should look a little bit different to you and that's because I'm using a webcam tonight. I will not be using a webcam on all videos going forwards, but I just thought it would be a good option to use once in a while if I wanted to show you some information on my screen while I'm narrating. So the reason why I came up with the idea to use the webcam tonight is that I wanted to show you an email that supposedly came across through PayPal last night. Now, for most resellers, you are using PayPal in some way, shape, or form to receive money from your buyers. Now, if you're not a reseller and you happen to have stumbled across this video on YouTube, stay tuned because this will be relevant for you as well. Pretty much anyone who has a PayPal account is very likely to receive an email like this at some time. And the email is basically one in which you are told that your account is um, limited, it will be limited in some way because there is some type of problem that occurred and so they don't usually specify the problem they leave a kind of general that they tell you that the main bad thing that's going to happen is you're not going to be able to use your account anymore which obviously if you're a reseller is a very bad thing because you won't be able to receive payments from your buyer so who wants that in addition they tell you you're not going to be able to send money to anyone on PayPal. So if you're purchasing supplies for your business or just purchasing things for fun or for your own enjoyment, then you're not going to be able to do that as well. So they tell you you won't be able to do that. If you withdraw money for your PayPal account, they're telling you you won't be able to do that as well. Uh, as well as several other limitations that they describe in the email. So then they tell you that there's something that you need to do to fix it. And what that involves is clicking on a link as you could see down below it says log in and then when you click that button what it's going to tell you is that you need to provide your username and password information because what they're trying to do is steal your identity and also they are trying to steal funds from your account so I wanted to show you a side-by-side -side of legitimate of a legitimate PayPal email versus a fake fraudulent PayPal email. So you quickly just use these few key pointers to distinguish between a real uh, email from PayPal and one that's one that's not. Uh, so one of the first things that you're going to notice is that, and this is pretty much one of the easiest things, is just go and look at the top where it shows the email address of where the PayPal email is coming from. And you see here it says that it's coming from WDF32. It has all these you know numbers and letters, and then it says at netholtz.com or netnots.com. That is no way is PayPal going to send an email that comes from that type of email address. That's the first major red flag that should set off alarm bells. Well, here's a real PayPal email, which in which they just sent to me four days ago about my 1099k form that came out. It says that it came from PayPal at PayPal.com. That's how it should look. Okay. In addition, you know, you see the title here: important information about your PayPal account, form 1099K. Nothing about that looks strange. Nothing about that looks Ill illegitimate. And you know, here it just says PayPal next to the PayPal email address. Over here. It says paypal.notice. PayPal's not going to send you any emails that says paypal.anything. That is just putting that decimal point there, that dot or that period. That is something that is also a red flag. You shouldn't really get any emails from PayPal that have that in it. The other thing that you will notice is that the PayPal logo itself looks odd. Now, on quick glance, the reason why they set it up this way is that if you're not paying attention to detail, it may fool you at quick glance because what they did is they basically just took a program, they took the you know a similar type of font and they tried to match the colors as best as possible with the pay being purple and the pal being blue. As you can see here in a legitimate PayPal email, 
the pay is purple and the pal is blue but there also should be the paypal icon next to it which is missing in this email that is a huge red flag in addition the actual letters are different in terms of the actual font it's not the same so for example you know you could see here the letter a how it's nice and circular right there and just has that little stem right there that is missing from over here which is a more traditional a it's not a circular a so that's another way that you could quickly tell that this is something that's fake in addition another red flag quickly is just look at the bottom and you can see here where it says this email is coming through you see here it's coming from a european address so it's off seas it's not coming from the united states it claims that it's coming from somewhere in Luxembourg, okay, somewhere in Europe, in a legitimate PayPal email. Let's scroll down to the bottom and see what you're going to find here. This is actually coming from San Jose, California, and that makes perfect sense. So those are just some quick things to look for to know that this is a fake email and not to respond to it. Now, people are always getting creative with these types of schemes and so it is technically possible maybe someone will send you an email that says something about you know it's it, it's a, it is a fake email and they are creative and it says something about it coming from paypal.com or something like that but man and maybe you'll look at this part like i told you about the the logo missing or um you know the icon missing or you see on the bottom that it's coming from some european place but here's the thing if you're suspicious in any way, your ultimate failsafe is to call PayPal and ask them if the email that you just received is legitimate. That's the ultimate way to figure it out. It's a quick and easy thing to do. Don't fall trap to these types of scary threat emails, which by the way, PayPal is not going to send out to you an email like this that threatens to shut your account down in a couple of days. That just in and of itself should be a red flag. But the reason why I made this video, even though maybe you already know this, is that they send these emails out because they work on a small percentage of people. So whatever small percentage I can help reduce through this video, I wanted to try to do. And so that's why I made the video and I hope that it helps. If you like this video and you like the new webcam look, please hit the like button down below. It's really important, folks, that you subscribe to the videos, even if you like them and you say you like them in your head. I don't know that if you don't subscribe. So subscribing is really important. Um, it's been a few days before there's been a new subscriber, so I'd really like to see a few more. Uh, goal is to get to a, a hundred, hopefully, by the end of the month. And so I'd like to try to keep working towards that goal. So right now we're at 51, so we do have a ways to go. So hope you could help me with that. Uh, in addition, as I normally do, please make sure you stop by the Facebook uh, Reselling Resource Center. It's a new Facebook group that I created. We're um, growing in number every day and having a great time sharing uh, be on the lookout information and uh, questions and trivia and all sorts of cool information related to reselling and plus i do allow as the administrator of the group for you to promote your brand and um, for you to do so in a non-spammy way and send across any links that you feel might be relevant for the group including any youtube videos of your own so please make sure you stop by the link is down below in the description section and um, I hope to see you there. So just submit a request and I will accept it as long as everything looks okay. All right, everybody, it is late. It's time to go off to bed and I will see everybody at the next video. Thanks, everyone.